But those interactions, I think, are human. I mean, that's part of life. So it, it, it is scary taking away everything. How long till we're not fucking? That's coming, too. Yeah. Then there's going to have two two types of people. Are you a, a fuck in real life or are you a digital fuck person? Oh, I'm a digital. Oh, I like real fucking. Sorry, we can't date. That's coming. Well, there's also the uh, the reproduction side of sex, which is like with genetic engineering, you'll, you'll be able to specify a little bit of details. I talked to uh, Jamie Marzo about that, like where you can um, specify like what, you know, uh, it, it'll start with like, I want my child not to have like a high likelihood of diabetes or something like okay. that. And then you get to specify like intelligence, you just get to specify those kinds of p- parameters until you're like basically trying to create a perfect human and you lose some of the magic of the flaws that make us who we are. Yes. And you know, I, I'm pretty sure in the full lineup of humans, like, the, so uh, let, let me uh, give you some information. Lay it which off I'm, me, I'm sure, Break it down. <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure you researched uh, this thoroughly, but uh, a, uh, a male of the human species, of the Homo sapien, mm-hmm. uh, produces 500 billion uh, sperm cells all in a lifetime. So that's all, uh, some more than others, <laughs> that's all uniquely, genetically unique humans that you could produce. So even across those 500 billion, you can select. Mm. And what so- you mean, like abort some or- No, you can choose which of them you want. I mean, just imagine all the gen- genetic possibilities that are there, like all the possible, like you won the race. Yes. Uh, that shocking. This, y- yeah, this is the winner. Of all the 500 billion? You have to imagine what the competition was. <laughs> Oh, just tards all day long. <laughs> Handicap. Well, so it's not actually the the fastest sperm or like it, it's, I think a lot of it is timing and luck. Uh, is what it seems like. There's actual papers on this and I've actually been reading them. I hope so. <laughs> so it's not just like the fastest sperm to the egg. Okay. There's a timing thing. So you were just lucky. All uh, right. Uh, I, I believe that. So it's interesting to think about like once you're able to specify some parameters of what your child is like, how that changes the nature of um, even just like the intimacy of two humans getting together mm-hmm. and making, creating together a child. Yeah. I mean, it, cha- it changes it. it cha- it's almost like, uh, I don't know, it becomes like a factory line of some kind. If you don't meet naturally. Yeah, if you don't mean natural, yeah, and, and, sure. and then you don't, and you get get to optimize your child, then it's yeah, then it's some like you have to consider utilitarian type of things, like what's good for society, and it'll probably be regulation about what kind of children you can have and not. Like your child cannot have an IQ below this or above yeah. this or something like that. Or your child cannot. We already kind of do that with we, you know. VIP clubs, like, hey, you're kind of ugly, or women go, hey, he's not tall enough. We yeah. kind of do it a little, yeah, especially sexually. Yeah, we do. Can't get yeah. on the roller coaster if you're this short, whatever it is. You know, we, we do it in some capacity. But here, this would be like fully transparent and to a degree that yeah. uh, it's hard to imagine. Like the, the way we currently do it, you can at least get around it. Yes. You, you can at least yes. like, trick your way onto the roller coaster even if you're short. Right. But, or the fat guy can get rich so he can get laid. You know, there's other yeah. ways. 